Disney's Little Mermaid, uh, the live action one that just came out, came out into theaters and it was a real slow start. I mean, it was a really slow start, but it had human legs and it kept going and going and going. And it eventually crossed over the $500 million mark, I believe, and then was really big. It continues to this day to be really big on stream. It kind of turned things around. Now, Halle Bailey was a revelation in the movie. She was absolutely fantastic in it. Her singing is, as far as being on movie screens go, her singing is world freaking class. It's really good. And so there was talk about maybe one of the songs getting some Oscar consideration, maybe. Well, there's a report that's been going around that you can find on a plethora of websites like this one that have been suggesting that Disney has pulled that song from consideration for the Oscars because they're saying because she's pregnant. And that is the topic of today's Mint Mobile hotline question of the day. Listen, if you guys have a topic or a question for our show and you'd like to hear your voice on it, go ahead and call our Mint Mobile hotline anytime 24-7 at 951 951- 268-4259. And again, this is about the Little Mermaid stuff. Check it out. Hey, John. This is Tyler. I was just reading some news, and I saw that Holly Bailey might be out of the running for her Oscar chances for her song from the, Dis- from the Disney movie Little Mermaid. And Disney has now decided to take her out of the running for being pregnant. And if this is true which it looks like it is because a lot of news stands are taking it. I'm about done with Disney, and it's very, very idiotic. Thank you for taking my question. Have a great day. All right, Tyler, thanks a lot for calling that in. Wow, there's so much to go over here. <laughs> um, okay, so first of all, you're, I hadn't even heard of this until you mentioned it. And then so I went online say, is anybody saying it's all over the place? It's all over the place that, uh, let me rephrase. It's all over the place except for real news outlets. No real news outlets are talking about this. <laughs> but basically, the gist of the report is that because Halle Bailey's pregnant, and by the way, I don't even know that there's any confirmation that she's pregnant, but because she's pregnant, Disney said, pregnancy does not fit our corporate brand. How uncouth. We do not condone pregnancy. And therefore, we would be embarrassed, these reports go, to have her on stage at the Oscars with the big plumpy belly. I mean, do you know what you have to do to get pregnant? (laughs) Don't you know what I have to do? Birds, storks come flying through your window, according (laughs) to Disney. And it's like, this is not uh, whatever. And so, you know, she can't perform the song there. And and basically what a lot of these sites are saying is, well, uh, I mean, if she's pregnant, she won't be able to get on stage at the Oscars and perform the song. There's a few things we need to clear up. Number one, there is no legitimate news site claiming that this is the case. Number two, and this is one of the big misconceptions here. There is no rule in the Academy that says if your song, the only way your song is allowed to be nominated is if the person who sang the song in the movie shows up to the Academy Awards and performs that song on stage. There is no such rule. The performer isn't even nominated in the category. Unless the performer is the person who actually wrote the song. Well, that's true. When, you know, uh, so Eminem. Eminem has his Academy Award, right? But how, this wouldn't even be Halle Bailey's award. She did not write the song. No. She's just a singer. She does. So if for <laughs> argument's sake, just so you know, if this song does get nominated at the Academy Awards, if it does, and it wins, Halle Bailey does not have an Oscar. It's not her song. It goes to the songwriters. That's who gets the award. At any rate, but even that being the case, you got to understand there is no such rule that people are making up that the performer has to be there. So look, whether or not Disney submits this particular song for consideration in the Oscars, and by the way, just because they submit for, for consideration does not mean it'll get a nomination. That's up to the Academy to decide. But if for whatever reason Disney decides not to submit submit the song, I can guarantee you it has nothing to do with the possibility that the young lady who sang the song is pregnant because there is no such rule that she would have to be. We've seen many times at the Academy Awards where somebody else stands in and sings the song and stuff like that. It's not a really big deal. Guys, we want to take a second to thank a sponsor of today's video, 
Mint Mobile. Signing your life away to a big wireless provider is kind of like being trapped on a roller coaster from hell. Sure, it looks like fun at first. They probably even threw in a free phone. But now you can't get off. Month after month of insane bills and unexpected thrills, like overages and surprise fees. If that sounds like your current big wireless plan, it's time to get off the ride with Mint Mobile. For a limited time, wireless plans from Mint Mobile are just $15 a month. That's unlimited talk, text, and data for just 15 bucks a month. You guys know before I came to Mint Mobile, I was paying triple what I am paying now on the standard big wireless plan, and I will never go back. All plans come with unlimited talk, text, and high-speed data delivered on the nation's largest 5G network. Use your own phone with any Mint Mobile plan and bring your phone number along with all your existing contacts. To get your new unlimited wireless plan for just 15 bucks a month and get the plan shipped right to your door for free, go to mintmobile.com slash campia. That's mintmobile.com slash campia. Cut your wireless bill to just 15 bucks a month at mintmobile.com slash campia. Anyway, Rob, you heard about this report. What is your response to this? First of all, Holly Bailey, can I just say, did a fantastic job in this movie. I caught up with it finally. Um, you know, I can understand everybody's objections or whatever. I think the movie was too long. <laughs> but other than that, I thought she was fantastic as Ariel and she made a great mermaid. And her singing voice is angelic and she did a fine job. That said, if she couldn't perform the song at the Academy Awards and it was nominated, the producers of the Oscars would, I don't know, get Beyonce to sing it. Yeah. <laughs> they would find somebody that has real marquee value. Not that, not that Halle Bailey doesn't, but how many times in Oscar history has another performer sung at the Academy Awards a nominated song? I'll tell you, a lot. This is the dumbest kind of news <laughs> that gets picked up and that people believe it. it it's this knee-jerk weird reaction that uh, we all, no one is more of a proponent than checking your sources than you are. You have always said, check the source. Check the source. What is the source? Um, like you said, there's no legitimate news outlets. And you know what I really object to about this? Let's say she is pregnant. Let's be happy for her and hope she has a, a very happy, healthy baby and that they get to grow old together as as mother and daughter or mother and son or whomever. And and why not leave it at that? Yeah. By the way, uh, Rihanna just recently performed at the Super Bowl pregnant. Oh, and, uh, <laughs> very just, pregnant. Yeah, very pregnant. And by the way, John, did that affect her performance? Not at all. It was not pretty at damn all. good. She so. belted it out. Ah, uh, anyway, there's that. And, you know, and, and so some people might want to ask, well, well, like, if this isn't true, why cover it? We'll cover it because so it's being reported all over the place. I feel we should bring it up to you guys, especially when some of you guys are calling in or writing in about it, tell you guys, no, this it's is true. not true. Now, listen, whether or not Disney actually puts it up to be nominated, that's another thing altogether. But if they don't, it's not because... Bailey's pregnant. Just be clear about that. Hey guys, thanks so much for watching this video. Make sure you like the video, leave a comment and subscribe to our channel. And don't forget, we have a daily podcast called the John Campy Show podcast available on Apple Podcasts, Spotify, or your favorite podcasting app of choice. Go and subscribe to it today so it'll be there when you need it.